Today I'm going to show you just a basic setup for uh, Romexis. And when I say that, this would be, uh, this is a patient who came in yesterday and we needed to uh, evaluate uh, where we had bone grafted at the site of number five. And, um, and our team took a, took a scan and I just want, I, what I want to show you today is how to properly align everything so that we can, uh, you know, so that I can quickly look at look at the scan and and know uh, or get the information that I need. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to implants right up top. So a lot of we either usually function in Explore or implants. So in implants on the upper left, uh, we're going to look at the green line, which is the panoramic curve. We want, want that line to be on the area of interest. So what we're going to do, grab this slider bar right in the middle here, slide that up to where the number five, you know, it's running right through where, where we want to see. And now I'm going to look at the panoramic curve on the, on the left, and I see it's not really lined up on the maxillary arch. So I'm going to go over to the right here. I'm going to go to Edit Panoramic Curve, select that. And then on, we're going to grab the green line with the arrow, or pardon me, with the plus sign here. And then we're going to slide it right up. In this case, it lines right up with the arch. And then we can look over on the upper right, which is a panoramic view, and we can see, you know, see that it's uh, coming in more clearly. And now what we do is grab this bar, and we're going to slide this back and forth. These five uh, images here are, represent the red lines on the upper right. So each one of these red lines is a slice. So we're going to slide the middle line over to the number five site. And then here we are, we can see, you know, we can see the width of the ridge, we can see the height of the ridge, and then I would be very easily uh, be able to assess in this position, you know, the amount of bone, the quality of bone that's present. So now uh, this would be perfect if it was set up just like this. Um, what you can do on the lower right view, just go to this slider here and then we're going to just use, I believe this is density, but you slide, in this case we're going to slide over to the right until all of this, but like if you slide it all the way to the left you can see all the soft tissue shows up. We're going to slide it to the right until we can mostly just see bone with a little bit of this extra. And then you can actually see here that uh, number five, the bone's not as dense as it say, you know, in an area that's been, that's not been healing. Okay, also, I don't use panoramic very much or, or TMJ or the others, but we do use the Explorer view. So if we were an Explorer view and wanted to look, what we're going to do is left click and then it's this is going to be on the patient's right so I'm going to slide over to the right side and then I'm going to go up to the sagittal view here drag down and then in the axial view I'm going to hold the right mouse button rotate like this and then what I would like is for the sagittal line and the coronal line to look like a target right on what would be right where the implants going to be placed and then we're going to on the upper left we're going to rotate with the right mouse button here and so and then here you can see on the sagittal view we're going to do the same thing and so now the sagittal slice the coronal slice they're running right down what would be the long axis of the implant and this gives me an excellent view of the adjacent teeth how much space I have um, at the crest of bone and at the apex and uh, would just give me between these two views would be perfect at the very least you know I'd like to be in the implant view and have this view here so anytime we are anytime we take an image to either check on the healing of an implant or in preparation for implant placement to uh, evaluate the bone I would like uh, for these views to be pulled up in this way and uh, so we can quickly reference and make a, make a 
an efficient decision of what treatment is going to be needed to take the best care of our patient. Thank you.